and coming into the big 4th of July weekend. Uh, hope everybody has a, a fun, fantastic, and safe weekend. So we've got a couple things we're going to show, Denise and I, uh, that are flavorful, um, nutritious, and, uh, and fun because we've got the red, white, blue colors coming in. I'm going to show you the ingredients I'm going to use here. We've got, I'm going to do a blueberry caprese. So it's going to have blueberries, tomatoes, and basil. And then just for fun, we're going to cut these uh, mozzarella slices into stars. And we're going to put them on skewers. And then, of course, we'll drizzle the, uh, the basil olive oil and the 18-year balsamic. So I'll be busy putting this together while Denise in Holland is demonstrating her chicken recipe. Uh, I want to put a quick plug in for Food Gatherers, the, the donation program we're doing out of Ann Arbor to help food rescuer food gatherers uh, deliver food through their pantry channels to people in need in the Southeast Michigan area. You can go, on, go on to our Facebook page and donate. We'll match that donation. Pustinis will any donation you make or come into the Ann Arbor store and every, every bottle you purchase, we're going to donate a dollar. So thanks for your support on that. It's a very, very worthy cause. They need our help. With that, I'm moving it to Denise and Holland. Denise and Barry, it's all yours. Hey, thanks, Jim. So um, I'm, I have a take of uh, one of Chef Andy's recipes. I think he did it with raspberry, but being the 4th of July weekend, I'm gonna use the Traverse City cherry. And basically, I'm gonna show you how to make a reduction. So I've got a hot pan here. And I poured in some of this Traverse cherry. And then we're just gonna bring this to a simmer. And since my pan was hot, I'm getting there real quick, which is always nice. So we're just gonna stir this and let it simmer. Basically what it's doing is, you can see all the um, moisture evaporating. So what that does is it caramelizes the sugars, it increases and intensifies the flavor. So that takes about a couple minutes. And I thought, especially you guys are having the Traverse City um, Cherry Festival this year. So let's just do a whole bunch of things cherry. So I think on the e-news that got sent out yesterday, um, there was a bunch of cherry recipes for you to enjoy there. So as you can see, it's boiling pretty well. And a way to tell if it's done or not is, let's bring it back to a so here it comes, boiling back up. And if, to tell if it's done or not, the easiest way is to just tip your, your pot. So it's kind of, it settled down pretty quickly. It doesn't continue to froth. So we probably have another 10 or 15 seconds to go with that. And then I will show you what it's like. And you really don't want to cook it down until it's as thick as you want it because it will continue to thicken as it cools. And so if you cook it as thick as you wanted it and then I let it cool, it kind of becomes molasses, tar, and a little difficult to use. So the best thing, um, and if that happens, the best thing is just to add a little more balsamic to it and kind of gently stir it to loosen it up. So I have it here. I turned off the heat, so it's about done because I've reduced it by half. And you can see it's just barely covering the bottom of the pan. So what I'm going to put with it is I have some chicken breast that I um, cooked ahead of time. Just in the, I sauteed it, or yeah, sauteed it in the basil olive oil, or you could grill it, especially being this weekend. So you could serve it up like this, and this is some um, cherry reduction I did earlier. So just drizzle that over it. You know, have it with roasted potatoes. I got a little basil here. 
cut that up. And just garnish that with a little basil. Another fun thing I like to do, um, if you didn't want to have like a whole piece of chicken, um, and maybe you're doing some kind of salad for the weekend, is to take your chicken breast and slice it up. And then this is something you could probably put over, you know, a bed of greens with, um, you know, whatever else you wanted to serve with it as a salad. And then it just has a little protein to go on top. And so then once again, I would put it on my salad greens and then drizzle a little more of the balsamic reduction over top. So that's what I have. Super easy. Um, today I used the cherry. Like I said, Chef Andy used the raspberry, but you can use a lot of the different flavors, mango, blueberry, strawberry. Um, and if you wanted to go a little more earthy, you could do the oregano or the herbs of Naples. So pretty much any flavor you want to try it would work. So that's what I got for the first round, Jim. Okay, we're back. I'm plugging away on the stars here. We've assembled some of these blueberry caprices, fun, a good little patio deal. And then I'm going to, let's make up a little uh, drizzle of the basil, olive oil, basil infused olive oil. I think that's probably about a quarter of a cup uh, with the good old 18 year traditional balsamic. Ratio here is going to be about two oil to one uh, balsamic. We'll get it in this guy. Shut the top. Everybody get out of the way. <laughs> We're going to shake this up, get it to emulsify a little bit. There we go. And then drizzle on our blueberry caprese. Oh, it looks good on a hot summer day. Yeah. So there you go. You talk about simple but flavorful and, and good for you and fun. I had fun punching these little stars out. Uh, so we're going to devour a couple of these while we go back to Denise. She's got one more uh, recipe to do for you. Super. Thanks, Jim. So in my bowl here, I have some cream cheese that I've allowed to soften for the last half hour or so. And to that, I'm going to add some sour cream. And I'm going to add some powdered sugar. This is obviously a dessert. And then I'm also going to add a couple tablespoons of our Michigan apple balsamic. So, and what that's going to do is give the cream cheese a nice flavor, and a little bit of a tang. So we'll get that all mixed up real well. And then ahead of time, I actually cooked up um, a puff pastry sheet. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to spread this on top of there, the pastry sheet and then add my fruit for a nice fruit tart. And being that it's 4th of July weekend, I obviously I have some blueberries and raspberries that I am going to use to decorate. This is actually a dessert I'm taking next door. Um, a bunch of us neighbors had gone and seen Hamilton back in February, maybe? Is that when it was in Grand Rapids? 
Anyway, so since it's on Disney Plus, we are going to um, project it on a screen and we're all gonna sit out in a backyard and watch it together. So we can still be socially distanced, but enjoy it together like we did originally. So this is coming together nicely. And so here is my puff pastry. And we're just going to spread this all on there. Now I think if I had a mixer, it probably would have mixed a little better. But um, hey, it's going to be what it is. So, and then comes time for my fruit. I've got some blueberries here. They aren't quite the Michigan blueberries yet. Not time for them quite yet. Slippery little suckers. So we'll see if I can make a flag. Not real creative or artistic, but we'll make it work. And then we got some raspberries here that uh, I had to make sure my husband wasn't eating beforehand. So we're just gonna make little lines here. So we kind of have a flag. Oh, I wanted to make sure I gave a shout out to Leslie and her mom. So I believe Leslie lives in Chicago area and her mom lives up in Traverse City and they have been joining us every single week as something they do together, mother-daughter thing and um, join us. So thanks guys. Almost there. It smells really good, nice and fruity. Sorry, I probably should have used more cream cheese. It probably would have given it more of a white stripe in the middle there, but I think it will be delicious nonetheless. All right, so that's my version of a fruit tart using the Michigan apple. Thanks, Jim, back to you. Okay, so thank you, Denise. Uh, Here's our one last time, our, our fun blueberry caprese salad. We're going to get into this. we got a group, family group here getting together later this afternoon. Remember using the basil and the 18-year balsamic. Um, all these products will be available that you saw from Denise and from me online today under new products. Uh, at 15% off. We had a question from the Baileys, from Cindy, who are safely back in Cleveland, about the pours. Uh, we don't have this exact uh, cruet type thing that I showed you, but we do have a pour and a mister online uh, for purchase to mix up and pour vinegars and olive oils. Um, so that's it for today. I hope you have a great 4th of July. Remember, anytime you shop until we can resume tasting in the stores, uh, with any purchase in the store, online, or for curbside pickup, make sure you request the little 60 milliliter bottle that you always wanted to try but couldn't because of what's going on with, uh, with no tastings. So happy 4th of July and We'll see you next week. Thank you.